Hello, this is Nitin from TechWeb Dots. Today we will discuss what are extension methods and what are those and why we should use them and what is the syntax and how to use them. Okay, we will discuss both inbuilt and custom both type. Okay, so let's start without wasting time. So, according to Microsoft definition, my extension methods enables you to add methods to existing types without creating a new drive type okay and recompiling or otherwise modifying the original type here type means any uh, predefined data type okay or you can consider array and list as well extension methods are static methods but they are called as if they were instance method on the extended type okay means we just call them like uh, we create any instance or object and by using the dot we can call the extension method okay so in case of inbuilt methods the most common extension method are the link queue standard query operators yes you are hearing right link queue standard query operators that add query functionality to the existing collection i enumerable and collection generics i enumerable of t okay of type so to use the standard query operators first bring them into scope with a using system dot link queue namespace okay this is very important part to use them and then any type like array list that implements i enable appears to have instance method such as group by or by average and so on so these are the extension methods that you can use in link queue okay group by order by and average and we also call them operator as well many standard query operator takes lambda expression as parameters but this is not the requirement for extension methods okay so for example we have created a integer array here so you can see we have an unordered number and we created a where result variable and we are calling int dot order by where we are saying g such that g means we are passing only single uh, we are passing each and every element of our integer array and then we are iterating through of our each loop whatever the element in the array and we are just writing into the console okay so output will be 10 15 means in ascending order okay so these are the inbuilt type now let's discuss how can we do with custom methods okay or you can say your own defined extension method so to implement your own extension methods for any dot net type define a static class to contain the extension method okay means class will be static implement the extension method as a static method with at least the same visibility as the containing class means two important things are here class will be static and the method that class will contain will also static and a uh, visibility means both will be public as well okay and the third important point is the first parameter of the method specify the type that the method operates on means on which type we want to add on extension method that will be there as a parameter okay so it must be preceded with the this modifier so let's have a uh, uh, deep look so for example the following example shows an extension method defined for the system dot string class okay it is also available on the microsoft and uh, i will leave the link in the description of this video so you can also check through that as well so what we are doing here we just created a namespace action methods and then we created a class as we discussed earlier it will be public static and class and the class name is extension method that we need, we don't need to worry about the main thing is our method name that will be available on the predefined type okay so method is also public static and it will return integer type and we are we are what we are doing here we are counting the number of words which is available in the string as we said earlier this will be the prefixed in the parameter okay so uh, this is before the string so it means we are creating on a string extension method word count as a uh, parameter we are receiving str okay so and in the next line which is return a string a split a new character means we don't want to count any space any dot any question mark or also uh, we don't want to uh, consider any remove empty entries so we just counting the length of each word okay so that's how 
we create our own custom extension methods and the next thing is how can we call them okay so so from client code uh, you can use your uh, extension methods by adding a reference to the dll means if you have created your extension method in the class library so that will generate a dll and that contains them and adding a using a directive that specifies the namespace in which the extension method are defined okay so that's a pretty simple thing right so what we will do we will use the using uh, keyword and uh, we will uh, import the namespace which is extension methods which we have created earlier in the uh, while creating the extension method right and uh, then we are creating a string which says hello extension methods and uh, we are creating an integer i variable where we are calling s dot word count okay so it will return the number of words available in the string s okay and one more important thing is extension methods cannot access any private data in extended class so we don't need to worry about any security in the available class okay so let me show you some practical thing so this is the previous example that i was using in a string manipulation program so if you are interested in that so uh, the link is available in my video you can check that or at the end you will get it uh, from the suggestions okay now uh, what we will do so i have already created a extension method so here is the one the name is space extension method we have already discussed this piece of code uh, class is public static extension method then public static word count is here this has a parameter okay so okay now how to use it i just already uh, built this class now what i will do i will use this uh, uh, newly created extension method directive uh, extension methods okay cool so already uh, imported the namespace now uh, for example we have created a string here comma b comma c comma d okay now str dot what count yeah here's the one so you can see we can simply call the method and store the result written by this and that will be integer okay so i hope you like this video if you have any question please leave a comment and i will be very happy to have your feedback thank you very much have a good day bye, -bye.